Yo, what is up guys? So I got a pretty interesting deck. This is a meta lockdown deck and what it's designed to do is basically shut down the meta of the game and well, it could definitely shut down anti-meta. But uh, anyways, the goal of this deck is actually to try to get out an Aturia Beast as well as maintain a Kaiju out on the board so that the, your opponent cannot get rid of your Naturia Beast. In addition to that, I mean, it has great matchups versus, again, majority of the meta because when you can go for this play, which I will show you guys in just a second, or well, Phaser Shadow C will be showing you guys here in a second, but uh, the main goal of this deck is basically, again, to get yourself out of Kaiju, but when you have the Waterfront here, it actually allows you to negate with Gamma Seal. Gamma Seal actually has a pretty decent effect, which makes it so during either player's turn, you get to remove two Kaiju counters, and that will make it so your opponent uh, gets whatever that they're using negated. Uh, pretty good stuff. And in addition to that, this card can have extra attack. But the main thing that you really want to have out on the board is Natria Beast and Gamma Seal, which is not too difficult to do and actually is pretty consistent. And majority of decks will lose at Natria Beast plus Gamma Seal. Now, in this instance, we do have the uh, Seriuja, uh, so we have bonus stats over here. But uh, overall, that's like the main concept of the deck. It doesn't really do too much else. However, there is a spicy tech that I will get into in a second, which can still shut down other decks that would have other proc effects uh, that would maybe get rid of this board. Because uh, sometimes you might happen to have a Predator Plant uh, left over from your play. For the right scenarios, it could be better to go for Dark Law. Uh, which we'll get into uh, when we get into the deck profile. I know this this deck, I know, I understand this deck is not meta, but it doesn't really matter it's just to show you guys the basic combos of the deck. And basically, once you get out Gamma Seal as well as have access to Naturi Beast, uh, this is basically game right here. You, you're utilizing uh, the Skuldi or Sarah Yuja just so you get a free Gamma Seal out on the board. There's another way to actually get it out, which you guys will see. Um, now, I'm not sure if Brandish will ever be a meta deck, but again, the whole concept is pretty much against most meta decks. Um, you're going to just have a huge advantage if you're able to go first and, of course, make this very specific play. A little bit of a cheesy deck. I'm not sure if I would consider it an anti-meta-ish deck uh, because it's not like you know, I, back in the day, dude, the anti-meta was like Doom Caliber Knight, but you play Doom Caliber Knight in 2018, you get absolutely wrecked. The card just isn't good enough. In fact, we actually did an anti-meta uh, a video not too long ago if you're interested in that. I'll link it down below. But this one uh, is more so a deck where, again, the whole goal is simply just to make this specific combo. Uh, Brandish would just absolutely lose. If this deck ever becomes meta, yeah, you summon a Cherry Beast and, well, I don't know, really know what the deck does. <laughs> it basically loses. But um, the reason why you actually have a Kaiju is more so so your opponent cannot actually tribute it. But like I said, the Kaiju actually has an effect where able to negate uh, two things. Uh, usually two. I mean, this card has a max of five, which uh, usually you, you'll, you'll get pretty easy. Now in this scenario, we have to have the monster reborn. He's gonna try to go ahead and uh, use some cards. But uh, again, Gamma Seal is actually really good because it stops whatever your opponent would like have as like an out to the uh, play. And like the Kaiju itself is basically um, gonna prevent your opponent from kaiju and you. So again, it's just, it's a really tough board to break. And before <laughs> this video becomes break my board, someone's like, yo, I got you, just some the Wind Dragon of Ross Fear Boat. Let's be honest, guys, no one's playing that card right now. I think it's a spicy card, uh, but at this point, he's just like, dude, I, I, I give up, man. He gave up. Uh, now this one's versus Trick Stars. Unfortunately, the Trick Star play didn't necessarily open up too well, but I'm sure you guys can understand. Um, if the Trick Star player opened up like absolutely amazing, uh, one player probably wouldn't really be able to play. Although we technically do have the Mass Change second, which can help out with the other card that likes to banish and get a special on the Trick Star. But uh, for the most part, uh, the, un uh, the Interrupted Kaiju Slumber will also get you a Kaiju, therefore, uh, well, also board wiping, but giving you the Gamma Seal so your opponent can't tribute it. But Trick Stars uh, generally don't play Kaijus. I have seen some builds that do play it, but uh, against like a Dinosaur deck, they definitely do play uh, one of the Kaijus uh, just so they can tribute it. But uh, a lot of decks will just lose to this. I mean, at the end of the day, basically the thing to beat is... I mean, you won't always have this exact combo, but the ideal combo that you guys have seen multiple times here is basically an Atreus Beast, Gamma Seal, and if you can get the Waterfront with, like, four counters, you're pretty much set to go. And in addition to that, you uh, have, you know, 
the kaiju already, so that's already like stopping your opponent from doing majority of things. Yes, there are maybe some obscure cards that can deal with it, but for the most part, it doesn't really matter what your opponent is playing. This is going to go ahead and just overwhelm them. Now, if any of you guys want the deck profile, let me go ahead and give it to you guys, and I'll talk a little bit about it. There, oops, this is this is not that, that's the wrong deck. Okay, uh, that was for yesterday's video. But wait, no, links in card. No, we want lockdown. The lockdown. The meta lockdown deck, and it's supposed to lock down, uh, again, the meta. Like, imagine playing, like, Invoked or any majority of Pendulum decks. I know that there are some that could maybe deal with it, but for the most part, uh, <laughs> it's not going to go too well when you can't use any spells. Uh, but let's go ahead and go over the deck profile uh, for you guys. Uh, but we got the one Gem Knight Garnet, of course, for the Brilliant Fusion. And then we have Triple Gamma Seal, one copy of uh, the... Sticky String Kaiju. We have two copies of Trick Clown, two copies of Thorough Blade. It's mostly because sorry, there's really no other reason why. I have piercing damage though, but yeah, it's really not just there for that. And then we have three copies of Baba Boom, which is actually a pretty decent card. Uh, what this really helps out with, guys, is it helps out uh, reset your um, the uh, Darling Cobra uh, if you happen to draw. And also, like if you just happen to have like bad cards, it can kind of help cycle some of the stuff that like you can only activate one of these once per turn. Or, you know, those kinds of things. Uh, or pretty much this is, you really, really need one. <laughs> Anyways, but uh, yeah, uh, it's just to recycle some of the, the doubles in the deck. I think that's an okay card. It also happens to be a dark, so in the off chance that like, you crash into something and you want to go for your play, because keep in mind, you don't have to just make that play immediately. You can, uh, like in, in the video, he crashed into his, uh, his opponent and then uh, he would summon some stuff. So you can definitely go for that. And then like main phase two, you set up to the point where like your opponent usually can't beat you anyways. So keep that in mind as well. Uh, and then in addition to that, uh, we didn't make Dark Law, but it definitely is a good card because, well, if you have an extra, like, card um, that you just don't really need. Because um, Seriuja obviously is for searching through things. Unfortunately, it is an Earth, and also I believe it has to have a level. Yeah, it has to level low, so Mass Change doesn't work with um, any of the uh, Link monsters. But, uh, yeah, like I said, sometimes one of these will linger on board. Then we have three cards of Lone Fire. It's just for consistency, giving you that brilliant fusion access. Allows you to really have consistency for Scoldy to cycle through your cards. Really good stuff. Um, and then uh, I, I could even see someone trying out Grand Regolem if you wanted to. It could definitely be a not too bad of a card in the deck because obviously that just goes straight into Scoldy. Scoldy then gets you your Gamma Seal anyways, right? Uh, but... Um, yeah, uh, we got the, the, the low fire, and then we have the Lazuli, obviously, for the Brilliant Fusion engine. Then we have one copy of Glowbulb, and two copies of the Instant Fusion, one Upstart, two copies of Terraform, one Foolish Burial, one Monster Reborn, one Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. Then we got the Mass Change. I think this is more of like just like a tech. It's not bad, though. Like, I was thinking, like, it might just be one of those win harder scenarios, but, I mean, if you combo with, you know, Naturia Beast, then a Kaiju, then you have a Dark Law. I think the, the game was already over, man. Uh, but this could also technically help out against uh, a lot of different hand traps or just cards in general. Uh, definitely not too bad of a card. And then we have two copies of, of course, the card that you bring out with Billion Fusion. We have Millennium Eyes Restrict and Thousand Eyes Restrict, of course, courtesy of this. Then we have the Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. We also have Naturia Beast. We have Dark Rebellion Exceed Dragon. Two copies of Seridra, aka Scoldy. Decode Talker, uh, Aro Master Jasmine, and we got the Needle Fiber, Proxy Dragon, and Link Karibo. Now, um, uh, other things that I wanted to mention, uh, like, there's there's a lot of just Klee. I've seen the Klee's, it was kind of like a, a I want to say a week back ago, like, and people were still testing out the deck and they realized, well, Tower Turbo is not good anymore. But, like, yeah, Naturi Beast just shuts down majority of Pendulum decks. Um, if they're playing some, like, obscure card, maybe. Yeah, like, most decks aren't playing too many traps other than the Solemn lineup, so you should be pretty good to go. It might not have the best Alter Geist uh, matchup if they happen to go Protocol, uh, but that's why you just try to negate everything before anything happens with, of course, Gamma Seal and the Waterfront. But um, I would say this is a very linear deck. It doesn't really have too many, like, uh, options uh, for first turn other than you want to make this play. Uh, theoretically, you can try to make other things, but I think at the core build of this, it's supposed to just be consistent at going for what it does. If you want to give uh, any suggestions, I would love to hear them uh, in the comment section below because uh, I like decks that have variety. Uh, this deck kind of has like a, a linear path, but I think with the addition of Jasmine, you can definitely make a lot of cooler plays in the deck. 
but uh, at that point, you're ruining consistency for, of course, the like meta lockdown. If you really want to lock down someone, this is uh, definitely, I would say, one of the best decks. Even like the Invoked, I mean, <laughs> Invoke with no spells. Good luck. Uh, majority of decks just need spells in the game. So I, I want to say that uh, even if you're not playing against like meta, I would say this deck should have a pretty good matchup against majority of things. I was going to play it myself, but then I realized it doesn't really matter what you play up against. Um, it literally comes down to, did you make the play? No, because if not, you're going to have a bad time. There's um, no real back row destruction for the deck, and that's kind of something unfortunate. Maybe you could squeeze Twin Twisters. That's what I was uh, also thinking about. Uh, Maybe side deck it if you want to take the deck a little bit more seriously. But uh, for the most part, it's a, it's a pretty linear deck, and it definitely can lock out a lot of the meta. But uh, like I said, if you guys have any suggestions for this, uh, let me know. And uh, like I said before, if you guys want to see like a more regular anti-meta-ish deck, because I want to say... It is kind of an anti-meta deck, but it's also like a, a, trying to lock people out. Lockdown decks generally don't get to be very good, and this is definitely a pretty good lockdown deck. Because, like, I remember back in the day, people used to be like, oh, Jinzo Horus, like, and then, like, those, those are, like, impossible locks. This is a, a very easy lock uh, for most players to do against. It's pretty self-explanatory. But, anyways, I rented long enough. But, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the vid. If you did, drop a like on it, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos.